Good morning, Vlogmas people. <laughs> gotta take the Lalo out. It's gotta get to room temperature before we steam it. Steaming meat when it's cold is no bueno. And this is a very special moment for me this morning because I decided last time I was at Costco that I wanted to try new beans because we've been like super basic and having the, the Kirkland Starbucks beans. I'm so over them. The beans in the espresso machine finally ran out. So that means I get to try my new espresso. Oh my God. Right? Oh my God. It's like he doesn't want to be married anymore. Oh my God. How do you open this bag? You just like peel it open? It's aromatic and velvety. Oh, that hurt my thumb. I did peel it open though. That was tough. How do you store your coffee beans? Because we store ours. We keep some at room temperature in an airtight container. And then we seal this bag and put this in the freezer. And then when the airtight container gets empty, you pour new beans in there so that they're at to room temperature before you grind them because you're not supposed to grind frozen beans, right? I think. I'm sure there's a better way to make coffee. But also, go to the coffee shop. Honey, do you want the first coffee with the new beans? No, you can have it. I'm gonna make it for you. you can have it, baby girl. Let me do something nice for you. Okay. He's denying me. What the heck? Oh, there we go. What I'm excited about this too is that the other beans are just coffee beans and these are specifically espresso beans. So hopefully that'll make like a yummy difference. Did you fall? Did you fall off the couch? You didn't like it? I'm sorry. morning moment of truth of this new coffee better be good it's pretty good but tastes the same <laughs> no it doesn't it's a little it's, it's more mild to me it's like I don't know it's like a coffee snob yeah you won't even drink drip coffee anymore. I've created a monster. Is that drip? No, it's nice. It has like a rich flavor. Like a... I do not know how to explain coffee <laughs> tastes. It's different. I feel like the other one's a little more bitter. It's a fresh bag of coffee, babe. Well... Usually today I have clients and actually I didn't book anything today. I have everyone that wanted to book an appointment, I moved them all to Tuesday. It's probably for the best because we've got like all this lala. We gotta cook two batches today. And I just wanna have like a slow day because yesterday was a really long day. I couldn't even like hear it in my voice, I'm, like a little bit tired. And we can hang out, my girl. <laughs> Yeah. 
You gotta edit your vlog, yeah? Yeah. Isn't it supposed to be up already? What? Aren't you supposed to film like a whole new one today? I am filming a new one today. Yeah. I have to edit that one, but I don't usually post it till the nighttime. Last night I talked about this, but yesterday I posted a picture on Instagram about my before and after of my cleanse, and today I really, really want to go in depth as to what my cleanse was and what I'm doing now, everything that happened to me after keto. So I'm going to finish my coffee and get dressed, and then I'm going to tell you guys about all that stuff. I'm pretty proud of it. I literally spent most of the day editing that Lala video. It just took everything out of me, oh my gosh. Ugh. And then all the laundry that I've done the last few days, it's right there, I need to put it away. And I thought, oh, you know, I'm done editing my video. I'm gonna take one on a walk because I didn't take one yesterday. It's pissing down rain. But it's also like 100 degrees inside. <laughs> so I'm just gonna turn on the AC and put these clothes away. I did my other chores, obviously I made the bed. Wiley has been really helpful with the baby today. But I can get this video done for you guys. Vlogmas is exhausting. Ugh. Okay. I obey a much needed walk. You want to walk, Ben? Is that mommy's fanny pack? You wanna go on a walk? You wanna go on a walk? Have a kiss. Thank you. Okay, we'll go on a walk, okay. I was actually thinking a lot about the cleanse that I just gone through and the whole roller coaster of yo-yo dieting that happened to me after the whole keto thing. I think after I finished keto, I felt so liberated that I decided that I wasn't gonna do something so hardcore. It's just, it's really hard to do something that's so life-altering when it's not like the best for your whole household. So it just really wasn't meshing with me, which obviously I made a whole video on keto and why it wasn't working for me. So I don't need to explain why I stopped doing keto. But afterwards, I went to the other end of the spectrum. Like I got to that place where I was like, I'm not dieting anymore. I'm gonna do whatever I want. I'm gonna eat whatever I want. And then I'd get really upset. And then I'd be like, okay, I'm really gonna diet this time. I'd go to the gym like four times that week. I'd eat like 1200 calories. I'd track everything. I'd be really good. Then we'd go to dinner and have like a beer, burger, fries and the next week I'd completely forget and then it would happen all over again the next week I'd be sad I'd be like oh I'm so overweight and it would just repeat over and over and over again so I, at least in my opinion Ooh, someone is smoking weed over there Ooh, it's potent Ooh. when someone makes a big change in their life there's always like a pivotal moment and everyone has their moment and I'm not gonna call it like a rock bottom I'm just gonna call it an eye-opening moment and Wiley is so sweet. He always takes pictures of me. He's always sending me old pictures from our past and throughout our relationship. And he sent me a photo of sometime in the summer. This one right here. When I saw this, this was my eye-opening moment. I know looks aren't everything, but for me, it kind of hurt my heart. I just felt like I really let myself go. I was sad. 
I didn't like the way that I looked and it made me unhappy. That and I was like having knee problems and the screws in my foot were acting up. And this was all because I was overweight. I know it's about inner beauty, but I was like unhealthy and I could feel it like in my body. It was just like hard to move around. I was out of breath. My skin looked terrible. I wasn't having regular bowel movements. Like I was always feeling like sick. I'd have weird like acid reflux. Things just like weren't okay in my body. And I knew that it was because of my lifestyle, drinking and all my terrible eating habits, going out to eat, just being lazy. It was all kind of catching up with me. And I mean, I was doing so well after I had the baby, but then I just got into this slump and I decided that I needed to like shake myself awake. I needed to reset my body and I was determined to do something about it. So that's when I decided to do some major research on cleanses and gut bacteria and figuring out how I could cleanse my body and reset it so that I could kickstart a significant amount of weight loss also turn my health around. So those were just like the moments leading up to it. The research for the cleanse was like a whole other thing and I'm actually almost to my house. So I got across like a main road with Ben and the baby. So I'm just gonna tell you, I'll tell you the rest of this when um, I get home. See you happy boy Ben. I came home and look at this support. Dishes, watching Vlogmas Day 7. Rolls, heat, mm. yeah. Do you miss us? Mm -hmm. Gotta feed the girl girl. Are you hungry? Yeah, No! For dinner, fast kind, we've got some hot dog. And then, I don't know if you've watched any of my older vlogs, but I used to make these puree vegetable cubes for Elia, and I still have a bunch. And I, I made like sweet potato, beets, green beans, and I put them in little ice trays, freeze them, and then put them in plastic bags in the freezer, and they're like portion size. So actually, I took a sweet potato cube, a beet cube, and a green bean cube, and I microwaved it together. So it's just like a vegetable puree. Balance out the little hot dog pieces. Everyone loves hot dogs, so it's like a win, of course. Here you go. And Elia is actually a huge fan of beets. Any vegetable, really, if you mix it with beets, she'll eat it. Mmm. Ah, that's so good. <laughs> good job. You a bath, you look gross and you stink like hot dog. <laughs> okay, we're back at bath time. And you know Elia, she's a whole vibe of the bath. She can entertain herself to let her splash around and play for a little while so she can get the stink off of the day. When I was on my walk, I was talking about how I really wanted to cleanse my body. Obviously, you know, when you go on diets, a lot of it is like outward based and your weight, but there were so many other factors about my daily life and like things that weren't working for me that really wanted me to make a change. I didn't want to just start Googling cleanse because you can get into like a Google rabbit hole so quick that I started to make a list of things that were bothering me. My sleep, my energy during the day, my aches and pains, my lack of motivation, the condition of my skin, mood swings, my overall heart rate. I felt like my heart rate was really high all the time. Just like noticing a lot of different unhealthy habits and problems in my everyday routine. So I wrote that list of things of what I was wanting to adjust. Then I made a list of things that I knew were having negative impacts on me. I, in just in my life of like health journey, know how food allergies can affect you and in the weirdest ways that I was like, 
I know that there's foods that are affecting me and giving me some of these problems, but I don't know exactly what they are. So I made this list of suspects. So wine, sugar, just snacks, crap, processed food, flour, starches, not whole foods that were definitely, most likely, probably having a negative impact on me, my sleep, my mood, my skin, my digestion, everything. I used this list as kind of part of my keyword search to start developing a kind of outline of a cleanse. Because of keto, I didn't want to follow someone's program, so I had to create my own. It's like when you want to make a recipe and you can't follow one because you don't have all the ingredients, so you read like 10 recipes and then you make your own from that. That's kind of what I did. I was pretty on point like with the list that I had made of things that I thought might be negatively affecting me and how it could be correlated to the problems that I had, that other list that I had made. So I decided to say, okay, well, I'm gonna take all these things out of my diet. And I started writing, okay, no gluten, no sugar, no, 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 no. All these things that I couldn't have. And I was like, okay, you know what? This is such a long list of things that I can't have. Why don't I just make a really simple list of things that I can have? Hi. I was like, why don't I just make it simple? Why don't I just make a short list of things that I can have and simplify it the best way that I can and eliminate everything that I think is negatively affecting my body. I decided to go with really lean white meat to help just reset my body, shed all of the fat and the starches that my body had just built up and was just like locked into my gut. And so I decided the only proteins that I were gonna eat, thank you, Elia. So I just made a short list of the things that I can and will have. And that narr I narrowed it down to really lean white meat. So chicken breast or really lean white fish. So we're talking, well in Hawaii, obviously we have, we have access to different kinds of fish, but I ate a lot of Ono, cod, um, lobster, shrimp, and egg whites. And then I decided to go with just dark, leafy green vegetables that had zero nightshade in it. Now if you don't know what nightshade is, nightshade is a chemical that like a vegetable's defense mechanism if you will. Um, so I wanted to avoid those kinds of things because they can have negative effects on you. So I decided to just go with lettuce, zucchini, cucumber, and occasionally tomatoes. Is that all that I had? That was it. And then for any kind of snack in the day, it was either an apple or half a grapefruit. This was my list of foods. And this was how I was going to strip my body. You can only create a habit and reset your gut after something like 21 days. So I made sure that I did this cleanse for at least 21 days. I think I actually went 26 days to really eliminate everything. And then I reduced my caloric intake to something like 1200 calories a day. Again, just getting my body to release like toxic fat cells and just really like keep itself alert. And I was doing that by spreading out my meals, maybe 250 to 300 calories, three times a day with three snacks. So for... Are you getting clean? So a day of my eating would look like maybe egg whites and a little bit of zucchini in the morning. An apple for lunch, I'd have chicken breast and I would do salt, pepper, and maybe like lemon juice and I'd bake it in the oven. I would put it over lettuce to have a salad with also salt and pepper and I would do red wine vinegar or apple cider vinegar and I would toss it with this chicken. I'm telling you guys, this was effing hard, okay? like. We're talking not very much flavor. All those like messed up satisfactions that we eat on a daily basis, it was, I took it all away from myself. For dinner, I would have a different protein, like the fish. Again, I would bake it just with lemon and salt and pepper. And then I'd have like cucumber slices or like 
tomato slices. And then obviously in between those meals, I'd be having like an apple. So three apples in a day, which are 100 calories about, and then I'd have these three meals that were about 300 calories. So it adds up to about 1,200. If there were times where my stomach started to shrink and I didn't want a meal, I skipped it. Okay, as far as beverages go, I was obviously having my black coffee in the morning. I think it's better. You just you can taste it better and you don't need all that extra stuff you really don't drinking a lot of nettle tea i had a lot of nettle like leaf left over from when i was pregnant so i was drinking a lot of that which actually i don't know if you knew this but nettle tea is a, nat a natural antihistamine and it helps reduce inflammation and like lowers your blood pressure it has all these really amazing health benefits so that was really helping me actually why leah is obsessed with drinking nettle tea now too and actually nettle grows here on the island i didn't have it fresh i ordered it but it grows on this island which i thought was really cool and then obviously i had lots of water and lots of sparkling water absolutely no alcohol no sugar no dairy no gluten no starchy carbs no fat those were the parameters of just like the eating portion of my cleanse i hope i'm not leaving anything out if you have any questions like put them in the comments and i will totally like answer you and like again i didn't follow anyone's program so i'm doing the best to explain like what i wanted to do Okay, this girl is done with her bath, so I'm gonna <laughs> dry her off and get her in some PJs and put her down for bed, and then I will continue explaining my cleanse and how I lost 20 pounds in six weeks. Now Leah pooped in the bath again, so we're draining it, and I have to just rinse her off with the shower. <laughs> you pooper? Baby's down and I took a shower too. I'm actually gonna do my skincare and stuff. And if you don't remember, I'm doing Rodan and Fields Reverse. First step is a deep exfoliating wash. It has a physical exfoliant and an salicylic acid. So it exfoliates, it cleanses, you can feel it. It's also really nice. Is it reverses like to help fix dark spots. And I have some pigmentation issues here on my lip. So that is why I chose this one. I do the regimen morning and night. If you've been following along on Vlogmas, so you know this is part of my commitment to myself. My skin is definitely improving. And especially after my facial, a lot of those blackheads that I had, teeny tiny ones, are gone. We have a fresh start and it's so nice. Do your towel, use paper towel, or a clean washcloth. One use only. The second step is intensive brightening toner. You can actually feel active performance ingredients in here. I can feel my skin tingling. And toners are great to help even out your skin tone and also get any debris off from your face wash that you didn't get. The third step is two pieces. It's a vitamin C formula and a retinol formula. They can't be in the same tube because they have a weird chemical reaction. So you just put a pea of each and you mix it together yourself. Como ça? I always focus right here on that dark spot and right here, make sure that a lot of it gets there. But again, you have very active ingredients so you can even feel it tangling and working. If you're pregnant, you should not use retinol. And if you are gonna use retinol, it's such a brightening ingredient that you cannot go directly into the sun. You have to wear sunscreen and you have to wear a hat because actually whenever darkening, you're trying to lighten, it will actually make it worse. So it's like a kind of an all or nothing kind of thing, but it's nighttime so you have nothing to worry about. And I'm not gonna do the sunscreen because it's nighttime, but I am gonna do the multifunction eye cream. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I will use eye cream, but it helps reduce the appearance of fine lines, puffy skin, bags under your eyes. There's no harm in using one at night when all it can do is help you. Okay, well done. While I was washing my face, I was thinking about how you guys might have been hearing my list of the foods that I was eating. Being like, this bitch is psycho. Like, of course you lost weight. You're freaking eating chicken. So I have to tell you, when I first started, I was like, I know it sounded insane. But I was like, I'm just going to try this for a few days and see how it makes me feel. I built this myself. It was all about tweaking to see what worked. So I wanted to just try one thing. And if it didn't work, I was going to move on from there. This was what I wanted to start with. I have to tell you that my whole life I've had insomnia. I've never had like really good quality sleep. I wake up to go pee like three times at least in the night every night like I don't sleep through the night ever by the seventh night I literally had the best sleep of my whole life I slept so deeply I didn't hear Wailea's alarm I slept so deeply 
that I didn't wake up to pee and I slept so deeply that when I woke up, I flew out of bed. I was starting to get all of that crap out of my body. It felt so good. To take it to the next step throughout the day, I have never had more energy in my life. Before I started the cleanse, I would wake up, be super lethargic, get some energy, and by two o'clock, barely be able to keep my eyes open. I could literally go through the whole day. It was like I was on like drug, like with the whites of my eyes were showing. Even my clients were like, you have so much energy. I was like, I know. It was insane, the amount of energy that I had. Those two things just on its own were such huge benefits and were on my list of the things that were upsetting me in my life that I was like, okay, like I was hungry, but I had probably been eating 2,000 to 3,000 calories a day before. I needed to take it back. For a little bit of background, I right before I gave birth, I was 230 pounds. Right before I started the cleanse, I was 206 pounds. With my height, I'm 5'7", that's actually technically obese. It, the age of my health, I was like 43 or something. I'm 30. My body was so unhealthy. I, of course I need to lose weight. And it's not to look good and to look cute and to look sexy. It's like for my health. I was so unhealthy. This weight needed to be lost. Either way, however you want to look at it. And for me, it was for the right reasons. Like I know I needed to lose weight and I knew this was going to do it. Cutting calories, I, I've talked about this before, it's science. If you eat less calories than you expel during the day, you will lose weight. It's like literally mathematical impossible for you not to lose weight that way. And I was not counting my calories. I told you I just kept it to these lean, these lean meats and these vegetables and apples. And I just ate my little meals a day. Oh, and my portion sizes. I had only four ounces of meat, but it's about the size of a deck of cards. Like you don't need to weigh it. You don't need to do anything. And a handful of the vegetables. If I could only fit, I had to be able to fit it in a hand. Except for lettuce. I'd like have a whole bowl of lettuce. It's portion control and just control in general. A switch had like flipped in my mind and I was like committed to like, doing a cleanse and, and getting myself healthier. That energy and sleep thing, like it already, a switch had like flipped in my mind and I was like committed to like doing a cleanse and, and getting myself healthier. But once that happened, I was like, oh yes. Like there was no stopping me. Like first it was really hard to watch my husband like eat rice and like eat bread. And in the first week he ate a salami sandwich on buttermilk bread. I could smell the bread. I could smell the mayonnaise. He was this close to me and I was like sniffing his sandwich and watching him eat it because I was hungry and I wanted the food. It was like, that was another part of it. What this cleanse also like forced me to realize was literally how obsessed and addicted I am to food. Not until maybe day 21, 22, was I not thinking about food all day long. Like literally all day long. My Leia, I'd like be staring into space and my Leia would be like, what are you thinking? I'm like cheeseburgers. It's just like ingrained in our brain. You eat when you're bored. We eat to come together as a family. People go out to eat when they're like going to get with their, together with their friends, drinks, appetizers, like whatever. Food is part of our culture, anyone's culture. I don't care who you are, food is part of your culture. I have such an unhealthy relationship with food that it was literally my life and it was like all I could think about. It was like cloud by judgment. On top of that, I was making such bad choices that it was like destroying my life and destroying my health. I couldn't shake myself out of it. And again, that is why I wanted to do such a drastic cleanse for like such a clean slate reset. Like it was so important. When I was doing the cleanse, Thanksgiving happened. And I was like, I'm not gonna eat Thanksgiving food. We hosted Thanksgiving dinner. I cooked Thanksgiving dinner, turkey stuffing, mashed potatoes, sweet potato casserole, green bean casserole, rolls, gravy. I literally made everything. Gosh, I think I was day 18 to my cleanse. On the day, I ended up having half a glass of wine and then I made Elia a plate of Thanksgiving food and I had bites of hers. I was like, I'll just have a couple tastes. It'll be fine. My body will probably just plateau for a few days. Actually, at the end of the night, I ended up having a slice of pecan pie. I woke up at one in the morning I literally threw up till four in the morning. I had to keep drinking water to like throw up because I was dry heaving. Like my body had been purged, no sugar, no alcohol, no nothing. 
and then I literally had corn syrup in my pecan pie and my body completely rejected it. Pretty sure like a little bit psychosomatic, but my body had been letting go of how to digest those foods because I've been, I had simplified it so much, it could not digest that corn syrup. And I literally gave myself like sugar food poisoning. For the next three days, I was like, I like did not feel normal. So I ended up extending my cleanse for another week. I just wanted to get back to where I was with like my energy and my sleep. Cause I did, I had really bad sleep that night and the next night. And it just goes to show you like what those things did to my body. And actually I'm glad that that happened because it motivated me even more to continue to be like, holy crap. Look at what that did to me. It was so terrible. It was just like, it was just again, so eye opening to like what those kinds of foods and things can do to your body. Okay, as far as keeping myself on track, I had a food journal. Let me get it. And what I would use this for would be to write down like the different meals that I would have. In the morning I'd write egg white zucchini and then for lunch I'd write chicken lettuce. And then I'd write about my sleep habits, anything that I was feeling, my weight. I weighed myself every single day. I just kept track of everything so I could notice patterns. The day before I started my cleanse, I decided to go to Ross and I like went and got this notebook. That was really useful for me. Like, I'm also like a very like, I like tangible, lists and things that I can write down. I know people can like log things in their phone and do like my fitness pal or whatever. I needed like something that I could like attach myself to. Like this was like my cleanse notebook and it really helped me and I really liked this tool. Everyone's different, but this one was a really big one for me. Last but not least, the exercise. I'm gonna remind you, everyone's at a different spot, but I was 206 pounds. I think a healthy weight for me is about 160. So literally 45 pounds overweight. When you're more overweight, it's easier for you to lose weight, okay? If you're only 10 pounds, 15 pounds overweight, I don't know that, that you're gonna lose weight at the same rate that I did. Everyone is different. Everyone is different. I'm also not a doctor or a nutritionist. I can't guarantee these results for everybody, but I went on a walk every single day for at least an hour. And then I would do resistance training. I have dumbbells. I've done weightlifting and stuff like my whole life, even though it doesn't really show it right now. But you know, I would just do like all body workout. Like I would do something for my back. I would do something for my arms. I'd do something for my chest. And I would do something for my legs just to keep things toning. Sometimes I would like just filter in like a yoga from like my Kayla Edzina's app Sweat. I have a whole year membership so I still have access to that app so I would also do that and sometimes I would do all three in the day. I was always trying to burn about 500 calories. My deficit was pretty high. This is not something to do for a really long period of time. The cleanse itself was the 28 days. A cleanse that this really reminds me of is like the Whole30. Basically you just eat whole foods, nothing processed by human hands for 30 days. It like really helps your body like shed a lot of shit, but I actually took it to the next level because I knew I wanted a lot of weight loss to be involved in it. So I took out a lot of like starchier carbs and things that were really caloric. So like I said, I just, tailored it to me, but it was super, super intense. When I decided to break my cleanse, which was three days ago, I decided that I was only going to introduce a little bit of food at a time. In that, I decided that I was just going to introduce a little bit of fattier meat. That's all I've introduced to myself so far. I haven't added in more vegetables. Oh, actually I added in avocado and then I added in the taro leaf because of the lao lao. And then the, and then the proteins that I've changed are now that I've had, had a yolk in my egg. I've added in bacon, only one slice. I had some salmon with a little bit of olive oil. I've had some ribeye and then um, the pork. I'm not adding in complicated things yet. I'm not adding in dairy. I'm not adding in any starchy anything, like no potatoes, still no bread, still no alcohol. So I'm still in it, still slowly adding things back in because now I'm in more of like a transition phase where I wanna make sure that everything that I've lost, I want it to stay this way. So I need to gradually pick up my caloric intake because now I'm probably at more 1500 to get it back to about that 2000 calorie sweet spot so that I can rigorously exercise to really tone my body. I'm keeping my food journal and writing everything down so that I can 
notice when my sleep is jeopardized or when my energy goes down and I can make a correlation to what food is causing it. So it's like an elimination diet and now I'm adding things back. I'm just being careful. This like last part of it is just going to be me like biohacking and writing down everything that I'm reintroducing to my body, which is literally why I've had a bunch of Lala the last couple days because I don't want to keep adding new foods in yet. I'm like still scared. So I'm just going to add like a little bit at a time. And then after about six weeks, once I feel like I figured it out and figure out some foods that are going to be like complete no-nos for me, I actually want to do the cleanse again to kind of start it all over because then when I start the elimination afterwards and when I bring things back in, I want to see if all of my observations and my data is correct. Like if I leave all those things out and I just write down that list of foods of things that do work for me or have those list of foods of things that don't work for me and I don't ever bring them back into my diet, I'm wondering if I can cure my insomnia for the rest of my life because of the message that I've had it's created such shock and because I did it for it past the 21 days my urge to like eat fries and burgers is surpassed by my actual fear of losing my quality sleep and like my good energy through the day and the possibility of getting sick. That kind of relationship with food I've never had before and I've actually been striving to do that and I'm like, oh, keto, Weight Watchers, ah, like trying to figure it out. I created this cleanse myself and feel like I'm like healing my relationship with food through it. If you're looking to like lose some weight or like feel good about yourself and your body, get better sleep, get better energy, like this might work for you. It like really, really worked for me. And it make, it worked for me so well. And even my husband, he like notices changes in my body. I lost 20 pounds. I weigh 182 pounds. Actually, that's 24 pounds. I feel so good. I don't want this feeling to go away. When I first started the cleanse, thinking about a pink pizza pizza, I'd be like, mmm. Right now, I, when I think of a pizza pizza, I'm like, that would literally make me feel like shit. I'd rather have like, a baked chicken breast with salad. Like, do you know how much I appreciate olive oil? Like, I used to take olive oil for granted. And like, now I'm like, it is like the gift from the gods. I stripped it all away. I'm appreciating the little things and the little subtleties that food has to offer. So I hope that was helpful. I feel like I had some comments and even some DMs on Instagram about my cleanse. I tried to give you like a stream of consciousness. I didn't have like any like bullet points or anything that I was following. So I hope I hit everything. Um, if you have any questions, again, like let me know and I'll try to answer your questions as best as I can or make like a follow-up video yeah so there you have it <sighs> I'm sitting in my room all by myself and Wiley is watching Game of Thrones without me I'm gonna go out there mm. hold on hold on I was missing you are you missing me because I'm really missable Hun Hun didn't come on my walk with me today because he was napping. You need a cleanse. Then you would need a nap. I have my own cleanse. Rice cleanse. <laughs> Cheese it cleanse. <laughs> the fans love my love handles. I love your love handles. They're so lovable. Did you have this whole idea where you were going to sit down and start filming and try to get me to agree to take a cleanse? No. No. I just wanted you to tell me that you missed me. No, I missed you. Tomorrow I have spa day. Mm -hmm. I just confirmed all my appointments. Cool. I'm booked from 8 to 3. Cool. I really want to go to like the gym tomorrow. Do it. <sighs> okay, Vlogmas. You're all Vlogmas. We're Vlogmas. I'm Vlogmas. He's Vlogmas. Elliot's Vlogmas. Elliot was like just still up, like just like in the dark, just like having another at, EDC looking moment. Looking at her, uh, give her her glow sticks. She like <laughs> she'll rave in like, there. I bet she's still up. No, she's down. She I saw the way one. No, but like for. a like while you were in there, I looked at the camera. It's just like. <laughs>
Like totally up. I could see your eyeballs like yeah. in the camera. Well, spa day tomorrow. So you know what's coming. Maybe I'll do like an in-depth on like how to do a lash lift. Ooh, that'd be fun. So funny, you're gonna sell all the la la to all the customers. <laughs> They're gonna come. Oh, I'll take, I'll take, I'll take. Yeah, that's how it works. So that's what happens. Yeah. But I only think I give them all away before you. He has a he has a giving away problem. He gives things away. Like we spent so much money on supplies for Lala, and then he just gives it away. I'm like, you know, we literally like lost Honey, money. We already talked about this, and it's because I have issues. We got it out, and then I said it. And I confessed it that I have issues. Yeah. Because I messed up. We're all and messed I, up, honey. And I, and I used to give things away to feel worth. I gave all away everything. <laughs> and I used to blame it on. He'd be like, like, I'm just I, generous. No, I used to just be like, it's just things. You know? Yeah. Like no, there's, just, there's, you just... can give things away, but there's, <laughs> when it starts to threaten your livelihood, that's different. So. <laughs> Anyway, that's enough for tonight. I'm literally so exhausted. La La Day yesterday was a lot. And then editing it today was like reliving the whole thing. So anyway, I really hope that you got some good information about this cleanse and like where I was coming from and like why I did it. And you know, and, and you could try doing it for you, but I'm just telling you like everyone's different and there might be things that work better for you, but I just needed to strip it all away and start with a blank slate and then add things back. And I'm still adding things back. I'm only in the three days of adding things back. So just like go slow. I needed that jolt, that like drastic night and day because being drastic is what got the mental results of what I wanted and like shocked and has been changing my relationship with food and that was what I wanted. So maybe it could work for you too. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Last call